I suspect uh, there's a bearing going either this end or that end or indeed and I hope not um, the actual um, bearing race on the thread um, so I suppose now I may as well start taking it apart so I'm going to start by uh, removing the cowling here and the wiring and the, the motor here and um, this crack off the back and then I can get all this cowling off and uh, I might be able to get a better look at it. Oh dear. As you can see, there's plenty of uh, grease and oil. I keep it well lubricated, so you would think from that that nothing really would happen to the to the screw ball bearing in there. I'm sort of hoping it's one of the end bearings, but I don't know. So that's what's um, underneath that cowling, two chrome steel bars, they look to be about the same as hydraulic ram steel, they're about uh, an inch of 25mm in thickness and uh, the alum these are aluminium um, uppers and they're cast aluminium so it's built fairly strong but I just for the life of me can't understand mm. it's just wood shavings I can't no metal in it. I was expecting the x-axis um, drive motor to be a little bigger than that too, but it's been doing the job all right. Okay, so this is the x-axis stepper motor or drive motor. Um, everything's written in Chinese, so I really don't know what it is. Um, this is a proximity switch, so if the x-axis comes over too far, you just press it against this spring-loaded bolt, and when the, the nut end here uh, comes close to this, it uh, sort of senses the magnetic field and just shuts the machine down. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll undo the drive here now on the x-axis screw and take the um, drive motor out, the stepper motor out and because um, you know you really can't feel because you, you sort of feel you can feel the increments of the motor it sort of goes uh, 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 like this like magnetism um, so I want to take that off and I want to see if I can feel um, the locking up of a bull race or something, you know. Where, and then what I can do is take the bearing off the other end and I can spin that freely. And, um, and then if I turn this and I've still got it, I know it's in there. And I, I don't know what I can do about it because uh, I really don't want to take that bearing apart. 
because I do know um, Mike uh, in um, Portland, America, uh, has bought a, um, a Novacon CNC mill and he had problems with his um, x-axis and he took it apart and I think he wished he hadn't. So, um, well we'll see. I'll just take this slag on these off. like I can undo them a bit. And then take the motor off. Should just come straight out like that. That actually feels exactly as it should. Uh, just put it around that sort of. That should be okay there. Feels very free to me. back and forth in the back bearing over there but I'm turning this I just wish it would lock up so let's we'll see, see if there's any I can see any evidence of metal little metal filings or anything because I'll come straight out the bearing where the Ooh, there's a couple, just a couple of metal. Hmm, a couple of little metal pieces there. That just, ah. I can feel a bit of something there. Alright, time to take the race at the far end so I can then uh, eliminate whether it's that race or that bearing in there. But I just think it's that one in there. Okay, on this end there's two little, two little uh, lock nuts. Um, now to get those undone, what I'm doing is just getting a, a rag and uh, I'm going to grip um, the actual thread here um, with some mole grips or voice grips where it really doesn't matter like that and to get these undone you get a, a brass drift and Should do it. Oh. oh well that was fairly loose. I mean, it, was, it was nipped up there but um, this one might be a little different. 
Oh no, he's loose too. Oh well, they were locked up. Now in here, there's obviously a little bearing here and there should be a thrust bearing. Oh yeah. I'll just move the camera so you can see that a bit. There's a thrust bearing here, see there's a little ball race. A little ball race there and a cup and there should be another up on the back side of this. I can get it out. There it is. So that actually stops the the whole assembly from going back and forth. It takes out all the play. So we'll put that in here. Okay. I mean, it feels very, very free there. That bearing, I can turn it with my finger. It's as smooth as silk. This does have a little roughness about it. That's got a definite roughness about it. So I think the next job is, I think I'll take him out and uh, have a look, just free run it on the shaft, see if I can see how tight this is in there. <laughs> it's not, it falls out. But that's okay. That really doesn't matter. And there it is. There is the x axis, axes, bolt screw. You know, it feels. It's going to call me a liar now because it feels so. It feels so sweet on there. I don't know. I'm still seeing little tiny bits of metal. I can't. I can't feel anything wrong with it at all. Um. However, this is the bearing at the end. It does it appear to want to run that free. But I can't see anything in it, and I can't. It feels okay. I'm. I just don't know. I think the only thing I can do, I, I, the way it sounded, it was real metal to metal um, noise, as though a bearing was was collapsing. Now I, I mean I have got on this cloth. I don't know whether the camera is going to pick that up at all. I've got little shiny little glimpses, like little stars, a little metal flake that came off this thread, which would indicate to me that the problem lies within here. But I have to say that I have felt better bearings than that. It could just be. Bit of muck built up in there, but uh, I'll clean it out and see where we go.